you think business is going to do in the next year or two. I think that's the greatest mistake that investors make because it's always uncertain. People say, well, it's a time of uncertainty. People just didn't know it was uncertain. It's uncertain every single day. So being involved in, in investment at all. Investing mistakes to avoid. Nobody is flawless. We all have our ups and downs, especially regarding investing. However, some mistakes you may make when trading stocks are fairly common and not limited to you alone. In fact, most investors commit many of the errors that may look silly sometimes. The good news is that most of these errors can be avoided simply by being aware, so we'll look at the most common mistakes and identify ways to break the habits or even turn them to your advantage. And if you are looking for essential investing tips from a pro investor, then subscribe to Money Lab for such videos. Here we begin. Waiting to get even. Getting even is another way to ensure that any accumulated profit is lost. It means you're holding off on selling a loser until it returns to an original cost basis. This is referred to as a cognitive error in behavioral finance. Investors lose in two ways when they fail to recognize a loss. To begin, they avoid selling a loser, which may continue to fall until it is worthless. Secondly, there is the opportunity cost of putting those investment dollars to better use. Overestimation of a stock Another common investing blunder is expecting too much from a stock, especially when purchasing penny stocks. Low-cost stocks may appear to be lottery tickets with a $500 or $2,000 investment potentially turning into a small fortune. However, penny stocks carry a high risk of loss, and investors who expect a small, underperforming company to outperform its peers may be disappointed. Therefore, it is critical to have a realistic expectation about the performance of company shares. Always examine the stock's past performance and make a decision based on the company's financial performance, as well as the stock's history trends and gains. While past performance is no guarantee of future results, it can be a good starting point because it provides information about the volatility and trading activity of that stock. Failing to diversify Professional investors may be able to generate alpha or excess return over a benchmark by investing in a few concentrated positions, but average investors should avoid doing so. Instead, it is better to follow the diversification principle. When constructing an exchange-traded fund, ETF, or mutual fund portfolio, it is critical to include exposure to all major sectors. Likewise, include all major sectors when constructing an individual stock portfolio. Generally, put 5-10% to of your money in any single investment. Putting all your eggs in one basket when you put all your eggs in one basket, a single negative event can devastate your entire portfolio and as a result, your financial future. Diversifying your portfolio reduces risk by ensuring that even if one of your investments underperforms, it does not necessarily impact your entire portfolio. You can diversify across asset classes by investing a portion of your portfolio in stocks, bonds, and real estate. For example, if the stock market crashes, the bond market may perform well, reducing your loss of equities. Investing in multiple companies within the same industry is another way to diversify. You can also buy several sector funds, each focusing on a different industry such as technology or finance. Being motivated by impatience Another common investing blunder is a lack of patience. Stock may only produce the desired returns after some time if you are investing in the long term. If a company's management team announces a new strategy, it may take months or years to implement it. Too often, investors will purchase stock and expect it to act in their best interests. The magic of compounding is often what makes investing profitable. Compounding takes time to be effective, which is why those who begin saving for retirement when they are young often see the best results. Trying to time the market Attempting to time the market also reduces returns. It takes a lot of work to successfully time the market. Even institutional investors frequently fail to succeed. Gary P. Brinson, L. Randolph Hood, and Gilbert L. B. Boer conducted a well-known study on the determinants of portfolio performance. This study found that investment policy decisions explain nearly 94% of the variation in returns over time. In layman's terms, most of a portfolio's return can be explained by asset allocation decisions rather than timing or security selection. Investing in companies you don't understand Another mistake is investors who flock to the latest hot industry, but know little about that company and that industry. 
You risk losing your hard-earned money if you don't conduct adequate research, especially if you don't know the company's financial viability. On the other hand, when you research and understand a company and its industry, you have a natural advantage over most other investors. When you invest outside your knowledge base, you may need to familiarize yourself with the nuances and complexities of the company in question. That is not to say you must be a gold miner to invest in gold mining corporations or a medical doctor to invest in healthcare. You just need to do your proper due diligence, and you should consider hiring a financial advisor if you can afford it. Following the crowd Following the crowd is another investing blunder because it does not require research and instead mimics what other investors are doing. Most people learn about an investment only after it has performed well. When the price of a stock doubles or triples, the mainstream media usually covers it as a hot take. Regrettably, the stock may have peaked by the time the media gets involved. At that point, the investment is almost certainly overpriced. Nonetheless, television, newspapers, and the internet have the potential to push stocks into excessively overvalued territory. Not investing. A beginner investor's most common mistake on their investing journey is to not invest. Retirement is costly, and most of us will only be able to save enough with a lot of help from the stock market. Consider saving $250 a month from the age of 25 to the age of 65. If you keep that money in a bank account that does not earn interest, you will only have $120,000 when you retire. Unfortunately, that isn't going to last long. Using money that you cannot afford to risk. When you invest money you cannot afford to lose, your emotions and stress rise, leading to poor and rash investment decisions. This can be a self-fulfilling prophecy, as these rash decisions will cause you to lose money you may otherwise have been able to keep. Consider your risk tolerance when evaluating stocks, which is your willingness to lose some or all of your initial investment in exchange for higher returns. When determining your risk tolerance, consider the securities or asset classes with which you are most comfortable, such as growth stocks versus bonds. Refrain from putting money at risk such as your rent or emergency savings into investments. You will make much better investment decisions by investing money that you can afford to lose. Letting your emotions rule. Emotion is possibly the number one killer of investment returns. Fear and greed do indeed dominate the market, but big picture investment decisions should not be influenced by fear or greed. Instead, you have to consider the larger picture. Stock market returns can vary dramatically in a short period, but historical returns tend to favor patient investors in the long run. In fact, as of May 13, 2022, the S&P 500 has returned 11.51% over 10 years. Meanwhile, the year-to-date return is negative 15.51%. An emotional investor may see this type of negative return and panic sell when they would have been better off holding the investment for the long term. Don't you ever make such mistakes when investing. Remember these mistakes and never make them again. And if you are keen to learn to invest like a pro investor, Warren Buffett, stay tuned to our next video and subscribe now.